Meat bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Best Builds here on Borderlands the pre-sequel. We are back for another episode and uh, as you can see this episode is going to be a claptrap build. So these are of course as always offered as a level 70 ultimate vault hunter mode game save. So you guys can go down to the description and there will be a link in there and you will get ev exactly everything you see in this video. Or, of course, if you already have a level 70 claptrap and you want to, uh, you know, rebuild yours uh, to something different and have a different playstyle, then you can, of course, copy this as uh, as and when and do what you want with it. So, uh, yeah, either copy it or uh, download it as a game save. So, today, uh, we are going to do another frag trap. This is our second frag trap game save. And uh, this one was, again, found on the Gearbox forums. And uh, was made by a guy called The Professional, who uh, did do a build before called wreck it Trap, apparently, by the looks of it. And uh, he's now updated it to level 70 and changed it slightly. So today we're going to be looking at the CQB Cowboy. And like I said, this was made by The Professional. I will link uh, his build in the description down below so you can go to the Gearbox forums and have a look at everything. But uh, yeah, this is a CQB Cowboy uh, build and as you can see he's not a cowboy in the picture he's actually a pirate but uh, it's the closest I could find to a cowboy skin how good would it be if you could actually get a cowboy skin for uh, the frag trap that would uh, help this immensely so uh, yeah uh, what is CQB cowboy then CQB cowboy is child uh, of abomination of a build called wreck it trap which tried to be everything at once and was impossible to update to new level cap and gear so this build is slightly more specific. It's more Jacobs brand and shotgun based swab melee build without explosive weapons. So finally, there's a blooming frag trap build that isn't revolved around Torg and explosive weapons, which everyone seems to use. So here are the uh, here is the skill tree layout that uh, you need to do. So go ahead and copy that perfectly if you want to uh, if you want to do that. Um, the skills are just completely, uh, you know, brushed around in Boom Trap and I Love You Guys and Fragmented Frag Trap. You know, it's not a tree specific build. There's a bit of everything in there and uh, all of the skills really just add up to uh, this in general. So, uh, yeah, it's more about the weapons this build and the playstyle than the actual skill build. But uh, there is the skill build for you guys. So uh, go ahead and copy that one down. Uh, straight away and uh, yeah, we'll get on with uh, really looking at what weapons you need to use in this So uh, in slot one, it's recommended to, to use a cryo weapon So this is the main way of freezing the enemies. There's uh, a lot of good choices uh, But the two scoops is the one that I'd recommend and that he recommends to actually use in there You just need something good uh, shotgun and freeze uh, you don't have to be shotgun you can use uh, things like the fatale um, the frig uh, frigadier whatever you call it frigidia I always struggle with that name that um, <coughs> unique uh, assault uh, sorry unique SMG where is it there it is the frigia whatever you want to call it um, there's also the uh, the Excalibur bastard as well you can use if you really want Obviously, the Excalibur Bastard is uh, quite a low fire rate, but it's really powerful. So it's high risk, but good um, good chance of freezing and certainly good chance of one-shotting people if you can get a crit. But it, two scoops is pretty much the uh, the one that I'm using with this build. After that, you want some kind of Jacob's Pistol. So you've got uh, different uh, choices here as well. But uh, obviously, most people, 99% of people, when using a Jacob's Pistol, now go to the Luck Cannon. But of course, you have got the Maggie as well if you want to use that. A um, couple of other things out there as well, but definitely, definitely uh, the uh, the dastardly look cannon is the best. Uh, also, as this is a, a bit of a Jacob's build and a more of a shotgun build, you need some kind of Jacob's shotgun as well. Uh, again, just like with uh, the look cannon when it came out, um, everyone uses the flayer now. But of course, there is the, the old classic uh, striker as well, wherever we are. Where's the striker? Have I even put a striker in here? I'm sure I put a striker in here. Yep, there we go. I knew I'd put a striker in there. Obviously, like the striker and the Maggie, these two were replaced with these two guys once it come out. But uh, you can choose what you want. Obviously, the striker is a bit more uh, ammo friendly, really, than the flayer. The 
player is powerful but it does use a lot of ammo so if you haven't got a lot of shotgun ammo you can always switch to the uh, the striker just to calm things down a little bit but for now i'm saying use the look cannon and the flare and uh, then really after that uh, there is obviously the um another good choice as well is where is it right at the top it should be the coach gun as well rustler's coach gun that's another good Jacob shotgun to use. So you've got plenty of choice here. You get them all with this build. So uh, don't worry about actually having to go out and find them and all that. Just download this and these will all be available to you. And then in your free slot, you want some kind of uh, Jacob's weapon. Something maybe melee as well because uh, you do get that subroutine chance with Claptrap. Um, which is, well, let's have a look. Um, where are we? Here we go. Uh, lost my mouse cursor then. Uh, yeah, all the guns. So gun subroutines, you've got the melee subroutine, and somewhere you've got the shield subroutine as well. Uh, there we go. So uh, obviously with the melee subroutine, it's good to have a melee weapon. Obviously you can use the uh, the claptrap, you know, fist if you want a melee. That does work. But uh, obviously with melee weapons, you get the that 50% melee damage increase as well. So uh, I would recommend, there are a couple of things to use in this, but I definitely like to use... Uh, uh, what was recommended in this build which is the sledges shotgun not only i use a cryo one as well so not only can we freeze the enemy we can melee him as well and we can do a bit of damage with the sledges shotgun as well uh, so uh, that kind of rules out using two scoops sometimes especially if you get that melee subroutine i would definitely go for the sledges shotty with the blade um which they always spawn with obviously and uh, yeah just go mental with it uh, so there are the guns anyway uh, if, as for equipment uh, you want a roid shield and uh, the best one recommended is the avalanche or the avalanche whatever you want to call it and uh, yeah you've got to get the most of melee damage possible this works best because uh, of the ice nova and the spikes uh, you can use the shooting star as well but uh, yeah definitely recommend the uh, the avalanche but uh, also i've given you all these shooting stars all these different avalanches but uh, yeah i like the one that um, obviously protects you against uh, freeze damage that's probably the best one to use so uh, i'd definitely get either that or uh, the free you know the freeze damage ones here because especially when you're using things like the two scoops and stuff like that you have got a chance to even freeze yourself because there's so much cryo fly flying around so uh, yeah definitely go for the avalanche but you can switch it up as well uh, as for your grenade you want something to strip shields really you've got uh, sh anything shock will do um I'm obviously using a uh, longbow storm front, but you can use uh, nasty surprise, quasar, electric leech, bouncing buzzer, anything else like that. I just like to put a load of legendary grenades in there uh, as a bit of choice. But uh, yeah, definitely the storm front or the quasar I always use. Um, class mods, uh, there are a couple of choices in the class mod, but uh, the Iridium Vanquisher. Not only is it very underrated for a class mod for claptrap, but it's probably one of the best for this setup. Uh, you got the damage boost, um, high defensive buffs max health buffs uh, and stuff like that and uh, yeah definitely a really good one but there are uh, alternatives as well the rampant robo ninja class mod that obviously boosts melee damage which is good if you especially if you get that melee subroutine plus it gives you five into repulsive four into float like a bee and four into all the things are awesome skill as well and then finally let's have a look at the oz kit we're using the arctic duality oz kit um because, uh, yeah, you definitely want something like extra damage against super badasses and things like that. Uh, this will boost your melee and crit damage, this class, uh, sorry, this Oz kit. Um, so, yeah, really, you can use other things like, um, obviously, the Eddie's not very good in this one or out like that. But uh, I like to use the Eddie too much. So, uh, I definitely recommend some kind of duality Oz kit. Even Systems Purge sometimes as well. I've put that in there as well. Um, but yeah, you really want to go for slam damage and uh, get your shield recharge delay and recharge rate. Um, but the melee damage and the crit damage on the duality os kit is probably the best. But I've put you a load of different uh, uh, duality os kits and system purges in there, all of different um, elements. But cryo again, you, it is a bit of a cryo build, and uh, I did say in the last episode it was nice the toy box one it was nice to have a different build that wasn't cryo because nearly all of round one characters that i used for these were actually mainly cryo focused but claptrap one it was uh, explosion focused and uh, yeah definitely 
nice to get a bit different from Claptrap, so uh, no Torg or um, anything like that. But this really is a good build. It's a really good style of build, and uh, as you'll see in a minute with some different footage, there's loads of different ways to play that. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, give this character a test out. So, like I said earlier on, there are uh, certain playstyles for this character to actually get the most out of it. But the first thing I like to do, more than anything, with the two scoops, is, uh, as you can see right now on screen, is just come into a mob-filled area and just fire away randomly. Uh, shoot towards the enemy, of course, but just create some kind of cryo storm that goes absolutely mental. And as you can see, although the two scoops isn't too great at damaging, uh, with all the skills combined with this build and that, it just absolutely pops enemies to shred. So uh, that's one to uh, definitely um, keep in mind and a really good way to uh, actually, you know, rip through many waves of enemies. So, like I said, there are certain distinctive uh, playstyles to this. The first is obviously just using the, uh, the flayer or your shotgun of choice, your Jacob's shotgun of choice, or, or your Jacob's pistol as well, so the look cannon and just completely, uh, you know, use the skills and that to, to damage there. But it all depends on your weapon subroutines, how good this character actually is and what playstyle you actually have to use. So if you get a weapon subroutine, um, you use, you know, obviously use your weapons as you can. Um, you don't have to melee up uh, this, you just basically maximise your chances with uh, your shotgun and your pistol. Um, you can use melee, but you've got to be more careful, so make sure you use your guns, more grenades, other things like that against tough enemies. Um, and uh, yeah, just basically use it like that. So as you can see, the uh, the flayer and the uh, look cannon do pretty well here. Slam about a little bit as well, and just make sure you get them frozen with your, uh, your cryo oz kit. But uh, just go absolutely crazy. So uh, we've seen the flayer in the previous clip, this is the look cannon now. Still pretty much one shots any enemy that it comes near, especially if you hit the uh, the crit spots, and it uh, just does really good. Also, if you get the shield subroutine, then you've got to try and make the use out of your weapons and swap. You can use melee, but uh, it's quite a lot weaker because your roid shield tends to be up most of the time with the shield subroutine. Um, again, slam about a lot and uh, just basically maximise your chances of freezing enemies and taking them all out there. But if you get the melee subroutine, that's where you need to switch things up. So as you can see right now, we've pulled out the sledge's shotgun with the blade on it. And uh, we're just running around, absolutely ripping through enemies. Keep your shield down as much as you can. And uh, you should be able to pretty much one-shot nearly all normal enemies. And bosses even will not take that long as well. Uh, you can switch to the two scoops as well to keep this uh, freeze chance up a lot more. But uh, I like a bladed weapon with that extra 50% melee damage as well. So, uh, yeah, basically, just to uh, go around and uh, switch it up with all different things. So, obviously, shield, subroutine, can't melee as much because your shield's up, so use your guns a lot. Obviously, whatever weapon subroutine you get, use uh, that to maximise your uh, chances of the bonuses to whichever weapon type it is. And then, if you get the melee subroutine, pull out your sledge's shotgun, I recommend, and just go around and melee the hell out of whatever moves. Keep your shield down, keep going close to enemies, they'll slam you. That's a good way of getting your shield off and uh, yeah, just basically go around and rip enemies up. So once again, that is the CQB Cowboy build uh, made by the professional from the Gearbox Software Forums. The link will be in the description to his thread as well as the download link for this character. Download it, give it a try. It's a level 70 Ultimate Vault Runner mode um, game save and uh, yeah, let me know what you think of it guys. I really like this one. Nice to be a bit different with Claptrap even if we are cryo heavy still. But uh, yeah, hopefully next build will be completely different to that as well. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you guys in the next one.